If you look back at the course rosters of the first five to ten years of OTS courses, they read like a who's who in ecology today. The students that took those early courses have become some of the most famous ecologists and evolutionary biologists in the world. Costa Rica is an amazing place to do a course like this because in this tiny little area you have a microcosm of almost all the habitats that you can find throughout the tropical Americas. You've got everything from high mountains to lowland rainforest, volcanoes, incredibly diverse cloud forests, you've got Pacific coast, Caribbean coast, you've got wetlands, grasslands, and because the country is so small you can get to all these different places really quickly. The OTS grad course traditionally spends the majority of the course at three stations, which are run by OTS. The biggest one that they have is La Selva Biological Station, which is located in some lowland tropical rainforests. They have another one called the Palo Verde Biological Station, which is located in a tropical dry forest, and it's right on all these swamps and wetlands. Their third location, which is close to the border of Panama, and it's called Las Cruces, and it's sort of a, a high elevation montane forest. In addition to those sites, the OTS grad course also visits other sites that aren't run by OTS. The way the OTS course works is you arrive in San Jose with a group of 15 to 25 different students, and then the next morning, you're headed out on a bus to your first site. You visit six or seven sites over the duration of the course. Each one of those sites represents something really different. And at each one of those locations that you visit, a bunch of different scientists, world experts on the organisms that live in these places, visit you for that location of the trip. Each of those faculty guide their group of students through a project. Then the faculty leave us and we continue on to the next site where new faculty will meet us. And at the same time, students also do independent projects. You basically create, conduct, write up, and present different experiments in different ecosystems on different organisms. And by the time you're done with the project, you're starting another one. It's so intense and you do this process so many times that you lose the fear. The fear of failure, of stupid ideas. With both the faculty-led projects and the individual projects, even though those experiments are very short, they often get published in the peer-reviewed literature. The elements that we've most recently incorporated into the course include uh, a really targeted focus on quantitative skills and focusing a lot of energy on writing. The other thing that we've really ramped up is the importance of science communication, not just for peers, but also for a really broad audience of people who aren't scientists. It's been really hard and tiring, but I haven't had very many experiences where I've had the opportunity to learn so much at once. All the, especially the great tropical ecologists have, have been here doing the same thing that we're doing. And I think that's really meaningful for me at least. It's like a rite of passage. Just being with 20, 30 people every single day that love what they're doing, it's been awesome. The course is very intense, but it's also so much fun. You get to travel to so many different amazing places with a group of people who are like-minded and you're working hard, but you're also socializing, you're laughing, you're spending 24 hours a day with a small group of people in very intense circumstances and they become some of the best friends you'll ever have. I think when a university becomes an OTS member institution, they are making a really great commitment to their students that says, we are committed to your training. We're committed to providing you an opportunity to take part in this incredibly unique experience in the tropics. An experience that really, there's nothing else like it out there. It's an amazingly fun, transformative experience. Once in a lifetime kind of a thing. My personal experience on my OTS course shaped who I am as a scientist and probably as a person. I would say it has been challenging, unique, and inspirational. Life-changing, exciting, intense, fun, transformative. I can promise you that it will be one of the definitive experiences of your grad school career. There won't be any other time when you'll be surrounded by such energy, opportunities for learning, and it will change who you are as a scientist and as a person.